wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. When a seed is planted in the ground, all you can do is water it. You cannot control the sunshine, you cannot control the weather, and you cannot control what the locusts will come and try and destroy it. All you can do is plant your seed in the ground, water it, and believe. That is what allowed me to be in this position right now. I would not stop believing. tell you, um, you know, what, why you're mistaken, why it'll never work, um, you know, but if you really believe passionately in what you're doing, just, just, um, uh, you know, keep going, you know, keep, keep pushing on, keep pushing on, and, and, and then if it, if you don't succeed, pick yourself up and, uh, and, you know, try again, and, and, and ultimately, you know, if you, you know, if you're that determined, you will succeed in life. This is a major opportunity. This is a major lifetime event for you. In all of the years that I've been doing this, only one person has quit. Quit. Left. I've been amazed that there's only been one person because some people and sometimes you really suffer. It's very tough. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing and it's totally true and the reason is uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society, and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful love what they did so they could persevere. When, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're gonna fail. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it. Just decide and then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Because it's only about 1% of people have the ability to really take risks, entrepreneurial risks. 99% of the population can work for a business once it's established. Only 1% have the courage and the ability to actually make the entrepreneurial breakthroughs that create those jobs. Somebody said to me, what did you learn from your father? And what I learned from my father is that work can make you happy really can make you happy but you have to love what you do you're meeting your must my friends maybe it's time to change your must some people's must is to survive 
Some people's must is to be okay. Some people's must is to have freedom. Some people's must is to have more than they could possibly spend. Some people's must is to take care of everybody around them. Whatever your must is, you're going to get it. Think how your life would be different if you raised the standard of what you expected from yourself. Not your people, yourself, to that level. How things could shift. It's all about changing your shoulds to musts. It's all about going back and saying, this is how it's going to be. an unfair advantage you know I went to war and at, at war I'm alive because other guys died for me when you see stuff like that you know how can I quit most guys are just wimps pussies cowards they don't have it you know in the beginning we went to every single label and every single label shut their door on us um, the, the genius thing that we did was we didn't give up The guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.